In this section, we will explore how some of these children were forced to move hundreds of miles away from their local areas, families, and friends to places with high levels of crime and exploitation. One of the reasons for this is the shortage of suitable residential places for teenagers in care. The care system, which was originally designed to support young children, is now struggling to adapt to the needs of older children with complex problems. As a result, many local authorities are unable to find appropriate placements for them within their own regions. Another reason is the closure of care homes by private providers who are facing market challenges. One of the largest providers, Outcomes First Group, announced last year that it was shutting down 28 care homes across the country. This decision affected more than 60 vulnerable children who had to be relocated to other homes, often far away from their original communities. Some of these children were sent from Southeast England to Scotland, while others were moved from South Yorkshire to London. These sudden and disruptive changes had a devastating impact on their well-being and stability. Many of them felt rejected, abandoned and betrayed by the system that was supposed to protect them. Some of them started to self-harm, act violently or run away from their new homes. But the worst part is that some of these children ended up in unregulated accommodation that exposed them to even greater risks. Unregulated accommodation is a type of housing that is not inspected or registered by the government. It can range from hostels and bed and breakfasts to flats and caravans. It is often used by local authorities as a last resort when they cannot find any other suitable option for teenagers in care. However, unregulated accommodation can be very unsafe and unsuitable for vulnerable children. It can lack basic facilities, such as heating, lighting, or cooking equipment. It can also be located in areas with high levels of crime, drug use, and gang activity. Some of these places are even targeted by criminals who exploit and abuse the children living there. For example, a drug dealer from Croydon was jailed for exploiting children in a care home to sell drugs in Sussex. He was getting them to travel to another county to deal his crack and heroin. Another report revealed that more than 60 young people were sexually abused or exploited after going missing from unregulated homes. Some of them were groomed by pedophiles who offered them money, gifts or drugs in exchange for sex. These are just some of the shocking examples of how the care system is failing to protect teenagers from harm. Instead of providing them with a safe and supportive environment, it is putting them in even greater danger. This is unacceptable and disgraceful. The government must urgently reform the system and ban the use of unregulated accommodation for under 18s in care. It must also ensure that there are enough quality placements for teenagers in care that meet their needs and respect their rights. The Outcomes First Group, a private company that runs children's care homes across England and Wales, has faced harsh criticism for its decision to close 28 of its homes by May 5th. The company blamed market challenges and recruitment issues for the closures, but many staff and experts have accused it of putting profits before children's welfare. One of the most vocal critics of the company is the Children's Homes Association, the trade body that oversees children's care homes in the UK.